Always just uh, strange things that happen in sports uh, that you set up against uh, the Red Wings organization against a team that uh, you end up winning a Calder Cup with. Uh, what are your thoughts going into the weekend? Yeah, it was uh, kind of funny. I was just kind of looking at the, the schedule when I first signed the PTO here, and um, I looked at who I might be playing this weekend, and it was Grand Rapids. So I thought that, you know, it was kind of funny. I know a lot of those guys. Played with a lot of them for, for a while. What were your thoughts, uh, you know, around that, that time? You know, you get a lot of uh, trust put in you by Jeff Blaschel, uh, who's the coach at the time, at a time when they were right in the thick of it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, obviously, you know, there's a few years there that were, that were pretty tough for us. Uh, you know, we were just trying to, Plan for the future there, kind of, and and uh, you know have our have our draft picks come in when they're ready to play and kind of get get younger guys in there, and um, you know that's that's how it kind of went for those few years. But uh, yeah, you know they're off to a better start this year, um, and uh, like I said, you know played with a lot of these guys in uh, against Grand Rapids here tomorrow night, so pretty familiar. What, what do you hope to take away from this experience uh, overall, but really just focus on for this weekend? Uh, just to get out there and start playing again, uh, you know, it's been a, it's been at least a couple of weeks since uh, since I've last played and played a few preseason games uh, over with Vancouver this year. But um, just to get back on the ice, get skating again, uh, get my legs going, stuff like that, and back into the swing of you know the game routine. What's your been, what's been your uh, impression of uh, Toronto so far? Oh, it's been great. Uh, you know, I've been here a few days now, and um, you know, it's it's always it was always a fun city to come into, and when, you know, when we played the Leafs and whatnot. But uh, you know, kind of. Getting to know it a little bit more now that uh, I've been living here for for a few days, but uh, great city that you know the organization here with the Marlies is, is first class. Everything's been great so far. Why was this opportunity right for you? Um, you know, I just uh, I took it as a, a chance to keep playing, and um, you know it was an opportunity to just get get some more games under me, and um, you know kind of see what happens from there. From your, all your NHL experience, how how would you provide a leadership role to this team in a sense? I guess. Um, well, we got, you know, there's obviously a lot of young players here, a lot of young defensemen. So uh, I guess, you know, just trying to um, encourage them to, to play the right way, kind of give them some tips here or there, things that, you know, that I see that maybe they could do a little bit better, or kind of, you know, that, that could help their game moving forward that might help at the next level. Logan, setting this up for uh, the weekend, a couple of games against the Grand Rapids Griffins, what, what are you guys concentrating on for yourselves? Uh, I think that's it. We're concentrating on us. Um, it's just about building off what we did, uh, you know, last week. I mean, the first game didn't come out on top, but I thought we did a lot of good things. Um, you just got to, you know, special teams is a make or break in this league. Um, so we did a little bit of work on that today, which was nice. But uh, I think focusing on the little things, getting the puck out of the D zone quick and transitioning and getting in on the offense. Are you getting the message from the coaching staff that you guys are going in the right direction? Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, they, they give us the structure, that, the way we're supposed to play, and it's up to us to execute it, um, you know, and especially us as the older guys to make sure that everyone feels feels comfortable in the systems. Um, you know, the coaches are always there for the support, but, uh, you know, they, it's nice to rely on each other, too, in the dressing room to be able to, you know, talk back and forth, and especially with line mates. Um, you know, this league gets tough because, you know, guys are always in and out, up and down, so it's, you know, you never really always play with the same people. So I think a big thing is uh, making sure that, you're you know, you're communicating on the ice and feeling comfortable in the dressing room. Uh, you brought up the special teams and and the power play. Oftentimes, everybody that you know watches it measures it in goals. But there's other successes that you guys are having out there. The the chances are seem numerous. Yeah, it's momentum. I mean, you know, you obviously you want to score, but I think if you can build momentum on a power play, you, you know, it's it's a win as well. Um, you know, obviously you, you look to you know to obviously try to get one every power play you can, but you know it's all about percentages and you know creating the right things at the right times and. Um, there's times in games, you know, last game against Rochester is a good example, down one nothing for a lot of the game, couldn't get anything going, and then, you know, a power plate gets momentum, and then we build off that, you know, we start feeling light, start feeling uh, like ourselves, and, uh, and you start executing better when you get that momentum going the right way. I know it's still early, but what are some of the things that stand out to you about this team so far? I think the camaraderie is, it's, it's, it's awesome, you know, it's fun to come to the rink every day. Um, I think we're on the right track of getting everybody to work. Um, you know, you want to make sure you're coming here every practice and working hard. It's not just, you know, you're not, you don't just show up for games. It's, uh, you know, we do this every day for a living. We get paid to do it. So I think it's, you know, it's the right thing to make sure that everyone comes here and with the right mindset, even on a practice day like today when you're only on the ice for 30, 35 minutes. Um, I think we're working on that side of it. But I think for everything else, it's coming to the rink. Everyone, you know, has fun. Everyone's uh, always in a good mood. It's not like it's negative to come here and, you know, um, in a bad spot. So I think, you know, we got treated very well here, um, first class. So I think for us, it's about taking advantage of all the resources we have and um, putting it into the games.
Greg, at this point in the season, a lot of focus on uh, your own team, no doubt. What are you guys working on uh, for the uh, start to the weekend? Just building on what we've uh, what we've been working on last week. Um, you don't want to jump ahead and get too far into things, just solidifying a foundation. You like where the power play's headed? It seems to have gotten not only the goals, but some good chances. Yeah, power play is looking good. Uh, AJ's doing a good job of um, rolling out a good starting point for them, uh, much like our five on five play. You know, you don't want to become predictable throughout the entire season, and he's got a good plan for, uh, you know, once we establish ourselves uh, in our game, you know, adding layers to it as the year goes on. It looked like in practice, Danny Kaiser will jump right in. Will that be the case over the weekend, or will he jump right into play? Yeah, we, we definitely expect to use him. Um, he's here, and he's jumped in and done a great job the uh, last couple of days, and it'll be interesting and, and fun to see uh, what he, he can contribute for us this weekend. I just got a young defense. Uh, it almost seems like a bit of a gift to get a guy with this kind of experience. Yeah, absolutely. These guys um, are going to benefit a lot from just watching him and seeing how he carries himself. Uh, his reads within the game is very, very smart. Um, you know, it makes us a little bit older back there, but also uh, an opportunity for those young guys to take advantage of it. I see experience too in a guy like Logan Shaw. What's he brought to the team over the course of his time in training camp and and with uh, the you know two weeks of play so far. I think the obvious thing that everyone sees is his play on the ice. Uh, he's been one of our best players in both games, uh, consistency offensively and defensively. Uh, but what people don't see is his demeanor, his energy, his leadership, his personality. Uh, he's just a real steady person who knows what to say at the right times, uh, what's needed for the group, and um, we're, we're very fortunate to have him this year. What have been your thoughts on Petrozelli from last week to last weekend game and throughout this week? You can tell that he's put in a lot of work this summer. Uh, you know, his, his conditioning looks better, his skating looks stronger, um, which can only help him uh, get the pucks quicker, get the spots quicker. So uh, he's always been calm. He's always had uh, a relaxing presence in net for the team. Uh, but you can definitely tell that uh, he's, he's stronger and faster in there too. And with guys like going up and down all the time, with Robertson the way he had last night in the NHL, for a coach like you who's coached him for a few seasons now, what is it like to see him have that success up there? It's great. Uh, I mean, that's what's so rewarding and fulfilling for what we get to do is uh, working with young men that uh, are trying to reach their potential and reach their goals and aspirations. And anytime any of our guys go to the NHL and uh, whether it's their first game or they go and play really well and uh, have an opportunity to stay, uh, and make it a permanent situation. Uh, we're just really excited for him and, and happy to be a supportive piece uh, of one of many pieces that are here helping these guys get to that level. Do you remember your first NHL game? Uh, I, yeah, I don't think anybody uh, would ever forget their first one. Uh, there was a lot of nerves and a lot of excitement.